All right, guys, welcome to another video. And today we are talking about yet another general topic. Now, recently we made a video in which we showed you how to root Android 12 ROMs, be it a MIUI based Android 12 ROM or be it, you know, AOSP based Android 12 ROM. You have to use Magisk Canary to go ahead and root it. But, you know, since then what has been happening is safety net has been failing for a lot of you guys. And that's what this quick video is about. In this video, I'm going to show you how to safely go ahead and, you know, have root access at the same time, safety net working. So you can use your banking application applications, PUBG Mobile and advanced games which detect root and then ban you and stuff like that. This should be the solution to all of those problems. But before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people, well, please join us on Telegram. We have more than 15 to 1700 members over there with similar devices and you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Now, what we have right here is MIUI 13 on the Poco X3 Pro. I will quickly show you that we don't really have root access so that we can go ahead and quickly root it and then fix the safety net issues. As you can see, root access is not available. So I'll quickly root this and then I will show you how to clear safety net. All right, so we are back at it. And as you can see, we now have root access installed using Magisk Canary. So let's go to root checker over here and let's verify root. As you can see, root is properly installed. Now what will happen is if you go to safety net, you will see that it will fail. Right now, that is what we are trying to fix over here because banking applications will not work in this particular case. So now you need a Magisk module and some settings in the Magisk application. So the first thing that you need to go ahead and download is safety net fix. So safety net fix by K Dragon is what we are talking about. Universal safety net fix, download the latest version. So let's quickly go ahead and go to the downloads over here. 2.21 is the latest. Okay. There you go. That's the zip. Let's go ahead and download it. It should relatively download really fast. Now let's go to Magisk over here. Okay. First thing that we'll do is we'll install the module. Install from storage. Let's go to this. It will install the safety net fix. Don't reboot yet. Go back. Now go to settings over here. And what you need to do is you need to enable Zygisk, okay? Enforce deny list, enable this as well. Now click on configure deny list. Now over here, the process will be a little tedious, but you will have to do this. The first thing to do is show system apps, enable that, that means all the applications are enabled. So then one by one, you will have to tick mark all of these, all the applications that you have. Remember, you have to do this before opening the application in case you use or open a new app after this whole process is complete to make sure that app doesn't detect root and you have to reboot once. So one by one, I'm going to check all of them. This will take a while. So let's quickly fast forward here. There are a lot of applications. Okay, so what we've done here is I've gone ahead and tick marked all of them, including all these system applications and we've installed the module as well. Now everything is done. All you need to do is go ahead and reboot over here. Let's wait for the phone to boot back up and our safety net should be pretty much fixed. Let's quickly go ahead and wait for that. All right, so we've booted back into the system. Just make sure all the applications from memory are cleared. The first thing we will check is safety net over here. So let's go to the safety net applications. There you go. Passed. So safety net is passing. If you talk about Google Play Store certification over here, device is certified. And what we also need is root access, right? So let's close all the applications again and let's go to root checker because root checker is one application which I left unchecked to give it root access. So all the applications that you want to give root access to in the Zygisk, uh, you know, enforce menu, you need to uncheck that. So verify root. There you go. Root access is working. Now, one last thing over here, if you're going to play PUBG or BGMI, and if it detects that you're using the Magisk application, it will ban you. So what you need to do then is you need to go to Magisk. You need to go to settings. 
and you need to select this option hide the majesk app and name it anything you like i'm going to put it as settings new hit okay all right and just like that as you can see we have safety net we have root access banking applications will work no app will detect the majesk application because as you can see settings new is my majesk app and it is working just fine so this is basically a win win situation but remember we are talking about root access so do that at your own risk it will work on android 12 because i have the mi 11x over here in mi 13 android 12 when it is working absolutely fine let me know in the comment section what do you think about this particular guide until the next one this is kalash Signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.